Well, let's try it again. Here we are gathered here in the living room on December 31st, 1972, the last night of the old year. This is the time that we usually get together and put a message or two on tape for posterity. So we're going to uh, uh, describe the weather outside, which is a cold, rainy, freezing, drizzly night, making driving extremely hazardous, walking uh, very, very treacherous, and we're all very happy to be inside here where it's nice and warm. And now we're going to start in with our evening uh, a program and call upon uh, Kimberly to uh, put her first uh, uh, and final message for the year 1972 on the tape. All right, Thimo. I had a very nice Christmas. I got a lot of neat things. I got a radio, guitar, hockey skates, hockey puck, orange, apple, pear, hockey sticks, clothes, work boots, a snowsuit that was too small, and I got a, I got baking mixes, funny looking plastic trophy, a ten colored pen, rubber turtle, cards, checkers, and a Bruins uh, a Bruins hat and a rocket. After Christmas, I had nothing to do, so when Ma and I were looking for a Johnny West, we couldn't find a Johnny West, so I got a J West. The horse's name was Buckskin. After that, I had a lot of fun. I hope you have a happy new year. Uh, what grade are you in this year, Thimmy? Four. Who's your teacher? Mrs. Mumford. How old are you? Eight. I've got a new school. You in a new school this year? Yep. What school? Calhoun. Do you like it? Yep. Better than the old one? Yep. Good. Got anything else to say on the tape? No. All right. And then I guess our next program is the big, big JP who has grown about a yard this year. All set, J boy? Yeah. All right, let her go. There's one thing I hate when Matt thinks he's a boss, but when it comes to eating, he thinks he's a horse. Yeah. What else? What kind of a year do you have? Rotten. Rodden? Yep. What grade are you in this year? Fit. What school do you go to? Callahan. Can't you think of anything that you want to put on the tape that happened to you this year? Yep. What? Christmas. That's all? What'd you get? What'd you get for Christmas? Judge your clothes. Yeah. What else? My clothes. What else? Shoes. Yeah. Anything else? Yep. What? Trouble. How about going to Canada with EJ? Yeah, we had a good How about that, huh? I had a better vacation up there than I did down here. Yeah. I'd, where'd you go? My godmother's in that. Where'd she live? Corvette. What's her name? Mrs. Parkett. Yeah. Who took you up there? EJ. When did, when did you go? In August. Well, I think we ought to put that on the tape, don't you? You're the only one in the family who went to Quebec. You know it? Yep. Right. Well, anything else to say? Yep. What? EJ went too. Well, that's good. All right, I think we ought to call upon Dave now. Want to come over here, Dave? Okay, you come right over here now and go ahead. <clears throat> Hey, I'm in the seventh grade this year, and my teacher's Mr. Dudley. And I'm in a new school. Uh, I'm in a junior high, and I, I think the Callahan's better. And for Christmas, I got a rugged rider, uh, Monday night football. Uh, <coughs> I got from J.P., a uh, prehistoric set. I got six models. Yeah. I got, uh, I got, it's just about it. I got two shirts, some pants, yeah. some shoes that were too small. Shoes that were too small? That 
had to give him the JP. Yeah, okay, come over here. What else? <coughs> Get down right here, boy. What else? I got Spe speaking to the old Mike. You're on the air. I got um, instead of the shoes, I got a big gym for my rugged rider. I got some clothes for him. And I just like to say happy new year to all. Very good. Very good. Now let's see. Who's next? Are you next, Tim boy? Yeah. All right, come over here now and you you really got a lot to tell us, haven't you? Huh? You really got a lot to tell. Uh, well, for Christmas, I got some new skates, a stick, some clothes, plus what the kids got me. In November, I cut my arm and need 50 stitches. Three days ago, I got a job at Julius's made and make 12 bucks a week. And I wish everybody a happy new year. What do you do with Julius's? Come over here. Tell us what you do with Julius's. You make some of those gourmet foods for him? <laughs> no. Huh? No. You, you do I, some of that cooking? No, I sweep. You sweep? What do you sweep? The sidewalk? No, it's club room. Well, how often how do you do that? Cleaning the cellar? How about cleaning the cellar here? Get down and tell us about it. What what grade are you in? Who's your teacher? I'm in the ninth grade. My teacher's Miss Toy. What'd you get for an average? Uh, let's see. 79, I think. Yeah. yeah. And, and I clean the saw to buy Christmas presents. How old are you now? Fourteen. What size shoe are you wear? Eleven. <laughs> How tall are you? Yeah, about about five seven, I guess. Five seven? You're way over that. You're taller than I am. See that? Timmy must be about five nine now. How much do you weigh? About 120. Oh, come on, you weigh more than that. No, I weigh myself every night, can't get over 120. 120. Well, you're growing up, you got the biggest feet in the house right now. In 1972, Timmy's feet exceeded the limit of everybody else, so he now wears the biggest shoe in the house. Nobody can wear Timmy's shoes. Okay, now let's see. Now let's see. We, we have Matthew, I guess, coming up now. Come over here, Matt. Let's uh, get your thoughts for 1972 down on this tape. Whoop. No, never mind. Well, for Christmas, I got uh, a little hair dryer and a couple of dumb things, like a pen that JP got me. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Clayton got me a, a razor, and Mrs. Langley got me a, some some shaving cream. And I got, my mom got me a chest protector, and clothes, new pair of shoes after Christmas. And Timmy got me, I don't know, I forgot. <laughs> What'd you get me? I don't know. I oh, that's right, a pen that we had to look in the garbage after the find. Ma threw it away. <coughs> and I had a good year in football this year. We played the freshmen and we slaughtered them. Get your letter? Not yet. We got it at the end. Oh, what position do you play? Halfback and fullback. <coughs> Offense or defense? Offense and defense. Both. Yeah, CYO hockey. We we haven't we ain't we don't have a league this year because everybody gets in fights all the time. That's why we don't have a league. And and midget league, we're not doing so hot because we're one win, four losses. But we're playing North Smithfield, and that's an easy win. And my average this quarter was 83. And so far, I don't like school so far. Got a dumb homeroom. That's it. Well, I don't know how much of that last part we got on uh, tape. You forget anything? No, I got it. Did you make any scores in football this year? Not in varsity, but in junior varsity I had 28 points in two games. 28 points in two games. Well, that's pretty good. Throw any long bombs? What about baseball? Uh, 
Did you play baseball this yeah. year? Valley, I played on Valley Is, and we got beaten in the semi in the finals for the championship. And I got a home run in the playoffs. Good. Is that everything? Yep. That covers 1972, huh? Yep. All right, Clay boy. You all set? Yeah. Bring up that, <laughs> bring up that phone book and start reading it. All right, it's Clay. Uh, this year was highlighted by many events for me. Uh, I've con this year I first started considering seriously which college I want to go to in '73. I sent out applications this, so far to Bowdoin and Syracuse and attended an interview to to the former on May 1st, 1972. In the year 72, I also became a godfather. <laughs> During the year, I attained my highest quarterly average in my first four I'm years you. with a 93.6 average. You were godfather in 71, now, because uh, Brian was too. Was it? Wow. Okay. Uh, a few nights ago, I attended the first Celtics game in my my life, watching them take a 117-107 win over Philadelphia 76ers. I had a, I had a uh, pretty good Christmas. I celebrated my 17th birthday. <clears throat> my only New Year's resolution is to get accepted at a good college. Also, in the new year, I'm looking forward to a 10-day field trip to France. This time, all I have left to say is wish everybody a happy new year. Yeah, you got the Harvard Book Award. What, what else do you forget? Don Baker. Yeah, you also Don won Baker. the Don Baker Award. All right, let him explain what Yeah, <coughs> tell what the Don Baker Award is. Well, first the Harvard Book Award, it's, uh, it's the award that's given out to each year to the junior boy who they say is, uh, the, well, the, uh, like the all, best all-around junior boy in, in school outside activities and everything like that. The Don Baker Awards, the award they give each year a football player that just fools around and doesn't do much. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's it. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I beat Matt in the <laughs> verbal chess champion at the arts festival in the summer. Yeah, I, I beat he he won the first game. The second game was a draw, and I won the next two games. Win the ten. Up. Well, here's the other side of the tape. Uh, I'm going to let my filly in on all the details of all the vacations that we took uh, throughout the mountains, the uh, uh, the seashore resorts and the uh, visit to the Armsby's, the uh, great big uh, uh, hockey playoff that we uh, visited up in, uh, I think it was Lewiston, Maine, when uh, Burrowville was in the uh, New England finals up there. I'm going to let her fill you in on all the uh, fantastic uh, uh, pool tournaments that we have uh, held all this year uh, between uh, uh, Ernie Bullier and my wife versus Ernie Bullier's wife and myself. Uh, and uh, she may not uh, include the fact that uh, we are still uh, uh, slightly in the lead after uh, 52 weeks of uh, consecutive play. Now let's see. I think I'll let Ma uh, carry it on from here. She's got to tell you about all the great big details of uh, Bubby's wedding and of our being uh, kicked out of the house on uh, Bubby's wedding day and all the... Uh, essential details. Take it over, Ma. Before Ma gets back, I have to express my regrets over the fact that uh, uh, Michael, who has been a perennial boarder all this year, is not here at the present time. Uh, Bubby, of course, is uh, living in Framingham. Uh, E.J. somewhere in Massachusetts. Uh, uh, Jeffrey over in Mapleville. Uh, and uh, Clayton, I think, has gone to a hockey game with uh, one of his uh, buddy boys. Uh, Matt, I don't know where Matt is. Matt's over Clink's house, according to uh, uh, Timmy, whoever Clink is. And uh, 
Now I think we'll turn this thing back to uh, uh, Meyer and let her carry it on from here. Uh, if Meyer doesn't include it in her recording, I must insert here that we had a fantastic party here last night, a New Year's Eve party, which included the uh, Boyers, uh, Adele and Ernie, uh, the Prues, uh, John and Pauline, and the uh, Robidoux, uh, Ronnie and uh, Lorraine. Uh, and in the uh, contest that was held during the evening, uh, Mara and I came out as the superior couple, uh, the superior team defeating all comers uh, during the evening. All right, boys, let's have the applause. That's fine. No whistles, please. Uh, I want to include on this tape that Liz is still with us. Uh, she has her good days and she has her bads. Uh, I visit her uh, almost every day as, as, as often as I can. Uh, she comes home to visit us every weekend to have Sunday dinner and to visit the family and to see the kids, and she enjoys it very much. I think we ought to include on here that we have acquired this past year a dog by the name of Jenny. It's kind of a Heinz mixture, but I would throw her out into the soap factory and have the kids take showers with her if it were not for the fact that she's the only singing dog we have ever had. She's a real mutt. All right, uh, Matt just came in. He's going to say a few words. Okay, Matt, take over. Uh, I'd just like to wish everybody a happy new year. And do what? Come on, say something. Oh. What's your outstanding event, 1971? Outstanding event? Yeah. Um, playing hockey for being a mall stars. Right. So hockey pads. Ho I guess for Christmas I got a new pair of goalie pads and goalie gloves. And it co costs quite a bit. And I got a skittle bowl. That's pretty good. Oh, well, yeah. Oh yes, and in this in this uh, past year we had the living room repapered, and uh, George Lambert got the uh, wallpaper on upside down. This is to introduce Ma, who's going to fill us in on all the high spots of 1951 that we have all forgotten or left out. Okay, Ma, take over with your gorgeous orange jumper on. Thank you, darling. I have about 10, 12, 15 items on this. List of mine of highlights of 1971. Unfortunately, Daddy just tells me I have only two minutes left. Starting at the top of the page, I have Heart Fund with a ball at Pleasant Valley. I have our newly decorated living room. I have right listed a shower for Pam, our new daughter-in-law, held last June. We have a wedding in August. We have Jeff getting a nice new job at Fernandes Supermarkets in Norton. We have the fact that I had a new first being on the radio three times in 1971, talking as a guest. Um, we have the fact that we took three trips during 71 to Lewiston for a weekend to, to Manchester and a long weekend at the mountains. I have two sad things to uh, relate, the fact that my brother Alfred died last April, that Jack has been quite sick, and that was why I was delayed tonight. I just had an emergency call from Reening, his wife, wanting to know what to do because he's had a setback, and my brother Arthur has been in hospitalized twice with uh, cerebro cerebrovascular disease. And I was just thinking right now, with nine sons and one daughter, the youngest, Kimberly's going to have this uh, problem after Daddy and Ma die, that uh, the boys and their wives are going to call Kimberly for advice, because this seems to be the pattern in my family. When anything goes wrong, they call me, and I'm glad that I had the strength to help them, and I'm sure Kimberly will also. Now, how much time do I have left? Can I elaborate? Go ahead. Well, starting um, all of these highlights, I think the wedding was the most delightful aspect of our 1971 year. We had a very gala wedding, and 
um, it was a social event to, for, for Barville of 1971. All the important people were invited, and the why, why isn't the the children looked beautiful. They all had lovely new clothes to wear, and Emma Kimberly was, w was uh, a maid of honor, a flower, uh, flower girl rather. And Joe jo was a ring bearer and wore a tuxedo and looked absolutely handsome. JP, that is. Daddy had a new white jacket to wear, new pants, and, red tie. and a red tie. And we had a big reception. And we had a party the night before, a rehearsal party with a buffet supper from the, the reception caterers. reception at Gussie's? And... No, we had the receptions at Wright's oh, Farm. Yeah. That so one. that was Jeff's uh, the yeah. year before. Okay. Now, to elaborate on some of these other things, Don't we have a gorgeous living room. The paper, everyone that sees our new wallpaper thinks it's absolutely beautiful. New drapes and curtains that I made. And unfortunately, the paper didn't arrive in time for the shower. And when we had a bridal shower for Pam, there was no wallpaper on the wall. <laughs> but, it, but everyone had a good time anyway. And um, we had a great time at the Heart Fund Ball at Pleasant Valley and made $650 for the Heart Fund. Um, I uh, received a beautiful plaque for, I, I haven't gotten it yet, but I heard Tom. about it. Oh, Tom. yes, I had a beautiful plaque from Tom Eccleson. I must read this. It says, to Dorothy Smith, whose dedication and devotion to her duties as a school committee member brought about outstanding improvements in numerous areas of committee policy. In grateful appreciation, Thomas Eccleson, Jr., Superintendent Emeritus. Kimberly's name was in the paper also. Kimberly's name uh, really didn't appear, but we knew who she was talking about because at Mr. Eccleson's testimonial, he read a letter written by Kimberly uh, in, in which she said she wanted to uh, go to the party, but she couldn't because her bedtime was at, at 8 o'clock. But she baked him some cookies, and he was so delighted. He uh, acknowledged this during his testimonial banquet, which is very nice. Now, um, getting back to highlights, uh, I think that we must compliment Daddy on the great job he's done this year. He's worked 16 hours a day, seven days a week for this family, and we are not wanting for anything. We have everything to be grateful for. We have a beautiful home, food to eat, warmth, clothing, and let's all say three cheers for Daddy. Ray, Ray, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yay! Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You too. Okay, Daddy, back to you. Well, I don't know what to say. This uh, uh, overwhelming noise of gratitude has just left me uh, uh, flabbergasted. I never thought I would be the object of appreciation of my family. I've always pictured myself as the old workhorse being uh, uh, whipped until he was down on his hands and knees. Is that right, Dave, boy? That's right, says Dave. So I think that within the last closing minutes of this tape, that the only thing I can say is that I hope that uh, 1972 gives us as nice a year as 1971 did.